Hey all, I gotta let you in on a little secret. My first job when I was a kid, well, I guess technically my first job was actually flagging for a crop duster. For those of you that don't know what a crop duster is, they're crazy pilots that fly these badass planes with chemicals, full of chemicals. Bertie, you know what a crop duster is, right? Holy dust. Yeah. Holy crop. And they're not the crop dusting like some of y'all in the cities know. It ain't farting. It's it's uh it's uh spraying chemicals. But it's what they do, and I'm gonna give you a little snippet him coming. It's badass hardware, but unfortunate application of use. Yeah, I'm not condoning the use of what's coming out of the nozzles, but I will condone the ability of these guys and their their ability to fly. You're gonna see something coming up over the corn here real shortly. There you there see him. Oh, oh, they're up and over the grove. There he is. And now he's gonna dip down and drop the spray down on the corn here. And this then is. Whip a Yui, and, and then, then whip back. a Yui and come back. So <laughs> I'll try to follow him as he flies around. I probably lost him because I'm outside my truck here. I'm trying to film this. I'm not driving. <laughs> I'm being safe. But I just can't see my camera lens. So at some point, he's going to enter the camera. He's at our 12. He's at our 12. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you see him. So essentially, this guy is, uh, well, his landing strip's my neighbor, Lynn Carlson. He was uh, the guy that had the ag spraying business. I can't think of the name of the guy that flies for him, but he's a young pilot. I don't know, maybe he's a young pilot with some big balls because this is an easy area here. He's just jumping over some groves. The guy that I sprayed for, his name was Loey Ricks. Well, there were times where Loey clipped the trees get because they got to fly tight they got to get the chemical down you got to fly low especially if there's any sort of a breeze so they flew low so low that once in a while you hit objects in the field which happened one time with me in the wee morning hours you were low object in the field i was not the object that got okay. hit <laughs> okay <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I was not the object that got hit i was nearly the object that got hit you know that you know the spreader fan in the bottom yeah so uh Lowy was coming in tight because it was getting a break, bit breezy and he was flying in tight to the ground to lay the chemical down well once in a while when you're planting a rock will get in your in your uh in your planter and the wheels will clog and it pushes up a mound a mound in the of dirt well, when the beans are high enough, that mound of dirt isn't seen. But the wheels of the plane clip the tops of the beans. You know where this is going. Oh. Yeah, I'm standing. Yeah. I got my flag. I'm lined up for the next pass. And essentially, I watch him hit the dirt. The plane cocks over. I'm looking at a prop coming right at me. Don't I pancaked on the ground and Lowy said he saw through his spreader, through the spreader prop window, there's a window on the floor yeah. to make sure the spreader prop's turning. He saw me laying flat on the ground. <laughs> and that's how close I was to getting munched by the spreader prop, not to mention the main prop on the plane. Or the main gear. Or the main or, gear, or, or the sprayers, <laughs> or everything that is on the plane. <laughs> Anything that protrudes from the fuselage. Exactly, Sorry. exactly. So, essentially after that, he got on the radio. We had two ways. He got on the radio, he said, well, we're going to wrap it up now and uh, head back to the farm. I'm heading back to clean out my pants. <laughs> He's like, thank you for being a little guy and a quick responder. I thought you were done. Wow. That was my first brush with death, I guess. <laughs> but look at that. I'm still here. 
<laughs> and I'm out soil to soil. Eight lives left. I got eight lives. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, no, I've used a few more of those up over the over the years, but that was uh, that was a scary moment. And uh, there's a little nugget, a little bit of the farm life. So now you learned what crop dusting really means, and it does smell, but a whole different <laughs> smell. Breathe. You don't want to breathe this. It actually can hurt you. The other stuff just makes you kind of feel a little nauseous, right? Yep. Depending on where it's coming from and who's producing it. And whether it's not your or whether it's your own. Oh. <laughs> Join me for other tips on how to remain single. <laughs> I think you're going to see a few more videos with Bergie involved because we're kind of a nutty crew. We just made a real big scene at that. Oh, damn near every store we went into in town. Grocery store is probably the most fun. Yeah, I'm not going to pay for a lick of marketing in my hometown. I'm just coming in with a loud mouth and loud stuff, and I'm just going to let the rumor mill spin. Hey, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. If you didn't catch it, we're in beautiful blue skies up here. And uh, next step, 1 p.m., meeting with Heidi, Christian, Marvin, Marvin, and uh, I got eight people coming out to the farm. And I have a chef oh. I didn't know. Uh -oh. Yep, this Somebody man's been holding up. <laughs> He's been holding out. He may make me a fat man yet, but nobody else has been able to, so I don't know. You got a task. All right, I've yapped long enough. This is Brian Horst from Soil to Soul, here with my buddy, sound guru, Master of Ceremonies, uh, Thomas Bergen. Sometimes. Peace out, y'all.